Welcome to I Love Stocks, and this is part two of my experiment of watching five stocks all week long and trying to get a play out of one every day. So I did a little video. You can go here on our website and click this little icon right here, and you can go back and hit this video right here, and this is the one I did yesterday. I did looking to take one of these trades today. So this is my game plan for at least a couple weeks. I'm going to pick five tickers, and then I'm going to watch them all week long. And this week's tickers were Tesla, Baidu, Boeing, Apple, and then JFIN. And, you know, I could have probably left that JFIN out because I know it's kind of a little of a pump and dump. But I just wanted to see if I could trade it today, and I did try to trade it, and I got out of it. I stopped. But I did take trade today out of these three out of these five and that was Baidu and I'm gonna pull that up if I can find it here I took this nope that ain't the right one that ain't the right one here it is so I took this trade right here ah and that's the 305. I took the uh, Baidu call right around 835, not even five minutes after the market opened. March took one call at March 26 and had a 260 strike. And I'm going to show you what it went to today. These are the trades that I'm in now, just on the side. I got PLTR, and I got in Walmart today. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I sold AMC at a loss. but So I took the, the Baidu call today. This one right here is 260. And it ran all the way up to 785. And I sold it. I got six contracts. I put five in my personal account. And then I took this one and scalped it real fast, first thing in the morning. And let me see if I can find it here. Oh, that's unusual. And there we go. Right here. Got into 305 and then scalped it real fast at 385. And then a little later, she started running up. And then by the end of the day, I still hold my five calls at 785. And I think this will run up even higher than yet. And the reason I took this trade is because it was a perfect setup. And I'm going to go ahead and go through the five tickers that we, we were watching. And we're just going to take a look at them. And we'll start off with the Baidu, being that's the one I'm talking about right now. So I'm going to pull up my chart. That's the one I want to use. What I liked about this trade so much is that, and I'll put it up here on the 20-day. Is that, this is not G, this is GME. GME's not doing too hot after hours. Now it's kind of bouncing up a little bit. They had earnings. So it pulled back to 166. But we're going to be talking about Baidu here. So yeah, she's right out of the gate. I'm bullish on this trade, and I'll show you why. And I love playing this kind of channel. This is called a Darvis box. And so I like getting down here at the bottom of the channel of support. And I've been playing this a long time, and I didn't realize the, the name of this here uh, exercise. And gentleman in our room, he plays the Darvis box, so you need kind of just within seconds. I said, man, I've been playing these things for years. And I always like to play the bottom part of the support of the box. It's a sideways channel. And then in that channel, I like to try to find a pivot point. And that's exactly what happened. So this is called a Darvis box. And let me go ahead and take this so we can see a little bit more here. And then I'm going to magnify it up a little bit. You can get a better look at it. So when she dipped down below that box today and, and had a higher low of the previous low that we had earlier, this was like, you can see what happens when we break out of that box. We have a pretty good jump. She broke out of the box. She had a pretty good jump. And then she kind of hovered around that pivot point. And a pivot point is like a center, uh, it's, a, it's a resistance or it's a support. It's, it's the centerpiece of the box. So if a stock pulls down, it could hit that pivot point. Or if it goes up, it could stop at that resistance. 
which is that pivot point, and it's what it did right here. I mean, she ran up there and she dropped real fast. So, I was watching this, I like watching this stock, because this is a really good money maker if you can get in it at the right time. You just gotta find the right candlestick patterns. So yesterday I watched this thing run and I said, man, I missed a great trade yesterday. And I said, I'm gonna take this trade again and I'm gonna do a video on these five stocks and I'm gonna pick one of these stocks out of here that I like. And this was the choice that I made. When I saw that knife come in here and I started seeing the reversal play, and I'll show you here on the daily one minute, I started noticing, I got in the trade right here at support level, right around 250. And then she went ahead and dived on down to right around 249.20. It might have been a little bit higher up in here is where I got into the trade. I got into the trade right at right at eight. I mean, it was it was just right after open, so it had to have been right in here is where I got into the trade, right at two fifty two, fifty eight. And right before this bounce, let me pull this up because I was up. I got in it right here, right when I saw the three black crows. Now, three black crows is a buy signal to me in a lot of cases. So I got in the trade right down here at the bottom of these three black crows. And that was right around the, the 25 area. Where I think it might have been, that had to have been off his first candle. Yeah, it, it was right off his first candle to the second candle. So that's when I got into it, was in the second candle right in here. No, I got in it down here, right on the reversal. I'm looking up here at the time. And I got in on this candle right here. After I had the confirmation of the green candle, I went ahead and jumped into the trade. And then she went ahead and run up, and I was up about 90 bucks, but I thought we were going to go ahead and break out. And then that big candle came, and I was down to about even again. And so I just waited. And then she just kind of took some time. It took her about 15, 17 minutes, less than 20 minutes, to can finally confirm this rolling pin candle right here spinning top and when I saw that I was going to double down on it and I decided not to and then she went ahead and ran up just beautifully I mean it was just a beautiful trade the way she ran up all day long after she was holding that 9 e, that nine SMA or this 50 SMA and these are two moving averages I used to trade with a lot it's called the 200 SMA and the 50 SMA so she held that 50 SMA all the way up there and then at the end of the day, I called the room. I said, hey, you know, once we hit this resistance level, which was that pivot point in that Darvis channel, that we're going to find some resistance. And we did. We pulled back. Now we're setting up into ascending triangle with a higher high. So I can't wait to see what these are worth when I get in the room tomorrow. I'm hoping for a grand piece. But we'll see. So that's BIDU. I really like it. We're going to stick with the trade. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to Tesla. Now, Tesla was also on the list. And it just didn't have no room today. It didn't do much. You could have had a mini scalp out of it for five bucks, maybe, at the most. But I didn't like it. I didn't like the, how it was running. I didn't like the tape. And when I talk about the tape, I'm talking about this over here. And I was also watching the news and the level two. You know, they keep trying to throw in bad news on this stock. And with the China deal going on right now I'm just not as bullish as I usually am when it comes to China plays it's a scalping thing for me so we did pull back to my other support levels that I talked about in the in the the report this morning early this morning and that was before the market opened and now that was right about the time the market opened when I did that video and so she was hopping around here and I just didn't like the trade so I did I at open I mean it was just to me, I just didn't like the volume, and, and I was watching the tape, and there's just a bunch of little mini orders coming in, nothing real big. Usually when I see 100 shares at a time go through this thing, 200, 1,000 shares, I'm very interested in stock, especially if it's on a green. But in this case, it wasn't like that. It was just low numbers, so I kind of put it to the side, and I'm going to let this thing rest tomorrow. But we're going to look at the 20-day, because we might like this trade after all. And we're into 10 minutes, so i got to make this faster. Magnify this up. So we got down into that first support level, and that was right in here. And I said we didn't want to have to go any lower than this 653. And that was the neck, neckline of the channel, which was the neckline of the, head, the inverse head and shoulders, which she had that nice break. 
So we come in here tomorrow and it pulls back down here to around 639. I'm going to take this trade. I really liked how it was running in the pre-market, but once that day came, it was just no good. So we want it to hold this level right here at 6, what is this, right around 655. If that doesn't hold, she'll definitely dip on down to this lower area right around the 646 area, or maybe even at the um, 638. But for right now, we're sitting here at 633, 663, and I want it to go down one more day. I like how if we can get down one more day on this thing and hit this bottom right in here, at six thirty around right around six thirty eight eighty, I'll jump in this trade and run it up as long as it it holds and I'm watching the tape. So that's Tesla, and the next one we're going to talk about is Boeing. Boeing, I took that big loss in. I wanted to get my money back, but she didn't act right either today. Good today, I think she needs a couple more days of rest. But I'm definitely going to be looking at Boeing as maybe one of my top picks tomorrow for a reverse of play. But I have to see it get down to this channel right in here. And that's right at 233.39 to 236. So if we can get in that channel, I'm going to color that in. The volume is great on this trade. The RSI is down. Last time we had the RSI down here, we had a nice little bounce. So, you know, don't be surprised if this thing turns around a little bit. But I think with a little extra scare of COVID, uh, what they're doing in Germany, the lockdown, and, and some other places, plus... You know, it just seems like it's a day for this thing to rest. We will be on our five-day rule, the pullback, which will be tomorrow. So that's when my five-day five rule comes into effect. It works quite efficiently. One, two, three, four, five, she sold off. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, you can't, two right here, and she bounced up. But we're into our fourth day now. One, two, three, four, and tomorrow will be five. So if I can pull down to this 233.89 to 236.23, I might take the trade and run it back up to these resistance lines at 240, 241 to 245. And then if she really starts to pick up the mustard, 252. But I think this needs to settle because a lot of fat cats got out of the trade. They got in it early at 200 and they sold it right up at pop at 270, somewhere around there. They've been talking about it on CNBC. So that's Boeing. The next one we're going to talk about. So we're going to take the trade maybe tomorrow if it reaches the number of 233.89 to 236.23. And then the next one we're going to talk about is Apple. Apple's another trade that I could have probably made today. It would have been a small one. I didn't feel that bullish in it. We had three white soldiers yesterday. So I figured she needed to consolidate. We did pull back to that first candle, which I talk about a lot. When we have these soldiers come in, she usually pulls back to that bottom of that candle, and that's exactly what happened here. So we're going to hold that as support. If not, I'm still going to be looking for this 121 down here to get into the trade. So I'm going to let it rest. Maybe it will pull back to the 200 here at 121.74, which I have a 73 for a red line support. We could take it there and run it back up and try to break this resistance right in here, right around 123.79. So that's going to be Apple. Keep a good eye on it tomorrow. This is part two. And then the last one that we're going to talk about is going to be JFIN. And there's a couple others. Pitons, you know, I'll be looking at it tomorrow too. So this, this was a horrible look today. I tried to get in the trade on the dip. It didn't hold up very well right in here. And I'll show you here on the daily. And I got out of the trade. It was right in here. She did run up a little bit when she pulled back to my support channel. Right at open. So I jumped in the trade. I just bought shares. And then took it on up. And then I turned my head. And before I knew it, I started seeing bearishness. We got down to 133. And then I finally got out of it down right around this red line. I took, took a little lick on it. But not much. I mean, I didn't have a lot of shares on it. So, yeah, we broke down below my solid support line of 1039. We're gonna, just going to have to see what the trade winds bring in on this trade tomorrow. I don't want to see it go any too much lower, but, you know, we did pull back to this gap right in here on this chart, on this hour candlestick, and that next support level, and we did hit that. So the one after it is 947. Then you got this 
8.84. So those are going to be the three supports for right now, the 9.99, 9.47, and 8.84 to maybe get a retracement back up to the red line of 10.84. So that's it for the market report. I want to try to pick a trade out of this tomorrow. My top picks are going to be Tesla and going to be Boeing. And I'm still holding, and I'll still be looking at Baidu. I think Baidu is an excellent trade if you learn, if you sit back and you watch this thing run. Learn how it runs. Be patient. When it's pulling back, don't try to rush into the trade. Wait for the confirmation of the reversal. I got in a little too soon today. I had little ants in my pants, and I wanted to take it. I wanted to get something going, so I got in it. But it ran up pretty nice, and I can't complain. And that's I Love Stocks. Always remember Miss Vegas. She's the money flow queen. She's a very bright lady. She knows what she's doing. She posts alerts in here at all times. So it wouldn't hurt to watch her. And where do I happen? There, right here. Yeah, I was wondering what happened here. We got this lady. Woo! She makes me smile. So also on our website, we have our links to our stock twits. You can follow them. They're right in here. And we still, we're doing good on time. And you can hit this link here and you can go back to some of the videos that I do. Every video is a lesson. Every video is about buying that support and selling that resistance. And I'm going to keep doing this same video over and over all week long. So I want you to kind of understand that you can only take five tickers. You can get a top 20 list and that's all you got to trade. You get a top 20 list. And still run your scans and stuff and, and, and keep that fresh keep that list clean and keep it fresh and keep it simple. And I guarantee you, and I'm only doing it with five, and I want to try to get a trade out of that every day if I'm able. And I pick those five stocks and we'll just see how it goes. But I love stocks. You can always go to that website, and check it out on our YouTube channel. And we'll catch you tomorrow morning.